She was an amazing woman, still drove around, got her groceries, and uh, she, I told her she was my role model. <laughs> this is how Terry Wicks remembers her friend and neighbor, Mary Tassa. The 93-year-old was shot and killed while standing in her front door last night. We, we knew something terrible had happened. My daughter called me up to, uh, I own the front house where my youngest daughter lives, and she said, Mom, somebody's shooting at the house, come up. Police say it all started around 7 o'clock last night. Several calls were made about a person in a pickup threatening people with a gun and firing at random in several different areas in Placer County. The suspect, they say, went on a shooting rampage that stretched from Newcastle, Loomis, and Penryn. The Placer County sheriffs have identified seven crime scenes and say most of them were on this ranch-style residential street in Penryn. They say the suspect was driving around shooting randomly at homes. One of those shots fatally struck the 93-year-old victim. Two other people were also shot at while in their vehicles in Loomis. One of them was struck but was able to drive himself to a nearby fire station and seek help. That victim's status is unknown at this time. Police say the suspect then fled the scene and was later spotted by officers on I-80 near Highway 65. Multiple agencies responded and the suspect somehow ended up on an off-ramp ditch. When authorities moved in to make the arrest, they say a confrontation occurred and the suspect was shot and killed. A police canine was shot in the thigh, but is expected to be okay. Police say the entire rampage lasted about an hour and a half. Wick says the family had just lost the victim's husband a month ago. And the kids just buried their dad. Now they have to bury their mom. In Pinnerin, Mary Gomez, ABC 10 News.